In the grand symphony of existence, every utterance you make is not merely a string of sounds, but a vibrational chord resonating eternally within the boundless expanse of the ether. It is a subtle dance of energies, where our words, often carelessly spoken, hold the power to shape the very fabric of our reality. Little do we realize the profound impact of our consistent verbal expressions, for they serve as mirrors reflecting the intricate tapestry of our innermost thoughts and beliefs. In the labyrinth of unconsciousness, many wander aimlessly, heedless of the potent influence their words wield upon their lives. Like whispers in the wind, our spoken affirmations, whether of abundance or scarcity, love or fear, weave themselves seamlessly into the tapestry of our subconscious mind. This subconscious realm, indifferent to the dualities of good and bad, manifests faithfully all that it is fed, heedless of the consequences. Indeed, as the sage Neville Goddard espouses, the law of assumption reigns supreme, illuminating the path towards self-realization. Our spoken words, like ancient runes, unveil the hidden recesses of our unconscious assumptions, casting light upon the shadows of our innermost desires. Every syllable uttered becomes a seed sown, destined to sprout forth into the garden of our lived experiences. In the timeless wisdom of mystic teacher Florence Scovelshin, we discover the immutable truth that the game of life is but a cosmic dance of boomerangs. Our thoughts, needs and words akin to echoes in the vast cosmic void, reverberate back to us with astounding precision. Thus, should we speak of weakness, we shall surely behold its manifestation. Should we sow the seeds of lovelessness, we shall reap its bitter harvest. Yet, amidst the ebb and flow of life's currents, lies the key to our liberation. It is in the conscious choice of our words, the deliberate crafting of our affirmations, that we wield the power to shape our destiny. When we declare, I am blessed and happy, and I feel wonderful, we transcend the confines of mere desires and step into the realm of self-realization. We embody the very essence of happiness, birthing a new reality through the alchemy of our spoken word. However, the journey towards mastery of language is not merely a matter of vocalization, but of inner alignment. For our words to bear fruit, they must be suffused with the authentic resonance of our being. Like a well-tuned instrument, we must attune ourselves to the frequency of abundance, feeling the harmonious vibrations coursing through every fiber of our being. It is in the cultivation of gratitude, the sacred art of thanksgiving, that we find the fertile soil from which abundance springs forth. As we traverse the landscapes of our consciousness, let us vigilantly monitor the seeds we sow, nurturing those that resonate with the song of our soul and discarding those that breed discord. In the sanctum of our hearts, let us kindle the flames of intention, casting forth our affirmations with unwavering faith and conviction. Let us speak not from a place of lack or want, but from the boundless reservoirs of our inner abundance. For in the realm of creation, we are but co-creators, sculpting our reality with every word uttered and every thought conceived. The manifestations that unfold in your life are not merely chance occurrences, but reflections of the vibrations you emit into the cosmos. As Florence Scovel Shin elucidates in her timeless tome, the game of life and how to play it, the subconscious mind, devoid of humor, absorbs every word we speak, jest or earnestness alike, and weaves them into the tapestry of our reality. Indeed, the metaphysical ramifications of our speech are profound. No uttered word resonating with the depths of our being remains idle, for it unfailingly materializes in due time. Consider then the insidious nature of complaining in this cosmic dance of creation. With every grievance voiced, we unwittingly breathe life into the very circumstances we lament, perpetuating their presence in our lives. Thus, those ensnared in the cycle of discontent find themselves trapped in a feedback loop of negativity, where each complaint reinforces the perceived injustices of their reality. Yet, amidst this labyrinth of linguistic causality lies a beacon of hope, a realization that the power to transmute our reality rests within the sanctum of our speech. 
by consciously choosing words imbued with empowerment and optimism, we harness the transformative potential of our linguistic expressions. Consider the subtle shift from, I hope I can win, to, I trust that I will win. In this simple alteration lies the essence of faith, a profound trust in the unfolding of divine providence, wherein hope blossoms into unwavering conviction. Similarly, in our inner dialogue, the seeds of transformation are sown. As the mystics of old have proclaimed, our outer reality is but a reflection of our innermost thoughts and beliefs. Thus, by cultivating an inner conversation steeped in love and compassion, we pave the way for a reality adorned with blessings and abundance. It is in the tender embrace of self-love that our true power resides. By speaking lovingly to ourselves, nurturing our dreams with words of encouragement and affirmation, we beckon forth the fulfilment of our deepest desires. For just as a gardener tends to the soil with care and attention, so too must we nurture the garden of our consciousness, cultivating a rich tapestry of positivity and love. And yet, let us not forget the profound impact of our words upon others. Like ripples upon the surface of a tranquil pond, our spoken affirmations reverberate through the interconnected web of existence, shaping the collective consciousness of humanity. Thus, let us strive to be beacons of light in a world shrouded in darkness, uplifting those around us with words of kindness, empathy and understanding. In the grand tapestry of existence, every word spoken is a brushstroke upon the canvas of reality, painting the portrait of our collective destiny. May we then wield this sacred gift with reverence and wisdom, knowing that with every syllable uttered, we shape the very fabric of creation itself. In the intricate tapestry of human interaction, one can discern a profound truth. The words we exchange are not merely vocalizations, but potent manifestations of our innermost thoughts and beliefs. In observing the conversations of others, we witness a perfect reflection of their inner world mirrored in their external reality. For those ensnared in the grips of poverty, their dialogue reverberates with echoes of lack and limitation, while those who dwell in the realm of abundance speak of prosperity and expansion. Yet let us tread with caution, for in the realm of the spirit there exists no judgment. Each individual, whether rich or poor, is but a vessel for the divine essence to express itself. Indeed, the key to transformation lies not in external circumstances, but in the subtle alchemy of our inner dialogue. By shifting our focus from scarcity to abundance, from limitation to possibility, we set in motion a cascade of vibrational frequencies that reverberate throughout the cosmos. As the ancient wisdom of Hermes Trismegistus reminds us, man is bestowed with the divine gift of speech, a sacred power that renders us akin to the immortal gods. Our words, like spells of magic, possess the power to shape reality itself, weaving a tapestry of creation that spans the boundless expanse of the ether. Yet let us not underestimate the gravity of our words, for they are not fleeting utterances, but eternal vibrations that resonate throughout the collective consciousness. Every word spoken, whether in love or in hate, leaves an indelible imprint upon the fabric of existence, shaping the world we inhabit and the reality we perceive. Thus, if we wish to partake in the co-creation of a world steeped in harmony and abundance, we must first awaken the immortal within and wield our words with wisdom and discernment. It is in the recognition of our inherent divinity that we unlock the gates to the kingdom of heaven within. Heaven and hell, far from being external realms, are but states of consciousness, the reflections of our innermost thoughts and beliefs. As we rise in consciousness and embrace the limitless potential that lies dormant within, we become agents of transformation, ushering forth a new era of peace, love and abundance upon the earth. So let us heed the call to awaken the immortal within and speak forth our divine birthright with conviction and clarity. Let us sow the seeds of love, compassion and abundance, knowing that with every word uttered, we contribute to the manifestation of heaven on earth. In the sacred dance of creation, let our voices be heard as instruments of divine harmony, weaving a symphony of love and light that reverberates throughout the cosmos for eternity.
Now let us embrace the profound responsibility bestowed upon us as stewards of creation. Let us recognize that every word spoken, every thought conceived, has the power to shape the very fabric of our reality. In the sacred dance of existence, let us be mindful of the vibrations we emit into the cosmos, for they echo throughout eternity, shaping the world we inhabit and the lives we touch. As we awaken the immortal within, let us harness the transformative power of our words and thoughts, directing them towards the manifestation of our highest ideals. Let us speak forth our dreams with unwavering conviction, knowing that with every syllable uttered, we breathe life into the realm of possibility. Let us cultivate a consciousness of abundance, where scarcity is but an illusion and every desire is met with boundless fulfillment. We are indeed weavers of our destiny, crafting a reality steeped in love, joy and prosperity. Let us cast aside the shackles of limitation and embrace the infinite potential that resides within each and every one of us. For in the boundless expanse of the ether, there exists no ceiling to our aspirations, no limit to our creativity. So let us rise, dear souls, to the occasion that beckons us forth, the call to co-create a world where love reigns supreme, where every heart is filled with gratitude and every soul dances in harmony with the rhythm of the cosmos. Let us be the torchbearers of this new dawn, igniting the flames of transformation wherever we go. And as we journey forth, let us remember the immortal truth that resides within us, that we are divine beings, endowed with the power to shape our reality according to the dictates of our highest aspirations. Let us speak forth our truth with clarity and conviction, knowing that with every word spoken, we contribute to the collective tapestry of creation. In the symphony of existence, let our voices ring out with love, compassion and joy, for it is through the power of our collective intention that we usher forth a new era of peace and prosperity upon the earth. Let us stand as beacons of light in a world shrouded in darkness, illuminating the path for all who seek to awaken to their true potential. And so, dear friends, let us embark on this journey together, hand in hand, heart in heart, as we co-create a world where love reigns supreme and all beings live in harmony with the divine. For in the eternal dance of creation, we are but the architects of our destiny, the creators of our reality, and the guardians of the sacred flame that burns within us all.